secret killer in a bracket, like I, I could just see him upsetting like you know one like of your favorites to get top three during the bracket. Yeah, like, like a tri-state hidden boss. I'm yeah. I mean like I I'm pretty cool with Sheik in this matchup. I, I mean I think she does pretty well. First Falco. Oh, I think, yeah. Definitely. A lot better than she does for Fox, I'll, I'll yes. say that much. Yeah. But I also think that 4-4 um, Prey is, like, so punish heavy, <laughs> and if yeah, you're yeah. not ready for that, then you can just get, like, obliterated just like that. So, he, I mean, right Absolutely. there, he just got, like, a stray, like, 50%, so and this could be death because he's so good at edge guarding these situations. Yeah, I mean, you know, 4-4 four, four, four Prey is from New Jersey. They have they got Flex, they got Fable, <laughs> they got Wally Sheep. Uh, oh, yeah. I've seen a, a fair amount of sets of 404 versus, versus those Sheiks. I know he's got the practice, and I know it hits like a truck, and uh, that is very dangerous for Sheik. Um, yeah. Typically, you know, a reason she does well, like her strengths, is that you know, she doesn't get locked down too well. She's got great out of shield options. Can edge guard Falco really well. Tech chase. But if Falco is just making every opening count, because he he can hit her very hard if he just does it consistently, as I know 404 is capable of doing, uh, it can be trouble. At the end of the day, if both characters are just doing one OPK, like absolute gods, then, I mean, at the end of the day, the matchup doesn't really matter. You're just going to get hit Not off much, of, like yeah. death. So, um, I mean, 404 Grey has the punish game down very, very well. We'll see if Psy can match his pace. I like the lasers used there for the edge guard on Sheik. I think that like very quickly eliminates her recovery options because the, the up yeah. just like not the greatest in terms of uh, available uh, Easy options. Edge yeah, if you can just like kind of stop her short a little bit, force her to go on stage, it, it goes a very big way. Definitely. Oof. Oh. oh, grabs the ledge before Cray there. All right, big chance for Psy. Up smash. I kind of like that. Uh, 404 has been up smashing. Or sorry, 404 has been taking in place uh, a lot off of the first grab. Mm -hmm. Of course, prepared up for the up smash. However, he does it is dangerous. He does AS, you know, he does ASDI the, the up smash down. Needle. Yeah. Oh, too late on the side B. Yeah, I guess in a kind of optimal world, the up smash isn't actually viable till like I don't know 30 or 40 percent, but. People aren't always looking for the ASDI, or to do it, rather. Just panics a little bit too much in the corner, Psy does, and uh, had the right recovery, just like maybe shouldn't have rolled from the corner there. He's looking good, though. He uh, is looking you know, good. Last stock, anything can happen, especially if you get a shield grab by What the a ledge. grab. I love <laughs> grabbing in between like the, the, the laser nair right there. Yeah, take laser, dash back, pivot, shield. Great yeah. way to get a shield grab on Falco, because if he's expecting you to, like, continue moving back, uh, you know, he's not going to expect you to suddenly be shielding and standing still. Oh, wow. Wow. And that's death. Psy taking game one. What a wild option. I thought it would, you know, stay on stage, just wait for Falco to move and then hit him after, but I think that may have just eliminated any possibility. So, yeah, Psy looking uh, real good so far. Psy, I think, taking, like, a lot of advantage of certain situations on defense. Like, at least in the last two stops. And I think 4 for Cray has to be, to be a little bit more cognizant with how he approaches now. Um, otherwise, Psy is just going to get, like, some juicy openings. And I think that's exactly what you don't want if you're, if you're 4 for Cray. Giving, like, cheap those, um, those grabs. Like, even, like, dash attacks. This is, like, knockdown percent for dash attacks. So, yeah. Psy tried to shield grab there, got hit pretty hard for it. I almost think he could have done the shield grab, but did it a little late, so it didn't work. But uh, manages to avoid dying and finds a grab as well. Oh, tries to come down with Nair, but 4 from Prey just gets behind him. And that's going to do that for the first stop there. Ooh, I want to say that was an accidental roll. I, I can't see that being on purpose. Oh, damn. And it's much harder to like get those like um, those full punish like instant kills on uh, someone like Sheik. You can just like withstand like the dare a lot more. Yeah. But um, or for Grip making work, he will. He, he's always ready to capitalize on the the subsequent edge guard. So. Yeah. Great uh, corner pressure by Psy there. He eventually gets the kill. Oh, he rolled up on purpose. Sometimes that's honestly like. When you're above 100% rolling on, is really good. Because yeah. people just think you're like, you tried to ledge dash and are regular getting uh, getting up. 
and then all of a sudden you roll past them. It, it's actually a decent mix of So P side now spot dodging before he rolls from the corner on that kind of recovery. So he's mixing up slightly, but um, I like to see a little bit less rolls when he does that, that up B. I think maybe just like keeping corner a little bit because one of the, it's one thing to like, panic out of the corner, it's another to say, you know what, I'm comfortable in the corner, yeah. and if you approach me carelessly, I can take full advantage. Yeah, yeah, good point. I do think Peace had a very easy back air on a, an up B off stage earlier. Didn't quite get it, but still in this stock. Not too big of a job, hopefully. Not quite able to capitalize on the up B punish there. Actually, I'm not even sure if the up B is Great slide on. Punishable when he's like falling down from there because it does create a lot of shield lag. So probably is. She's back here reaches, just grabs him. See right there. If you're if you're carelessly approaching the corner, then yeah, you can just get the hands. Yeah, pretty dangerous. Uh, I'm never sure. If it's worse to do it at high percent or low percent. Because at low percent, you could lose your whole stock. At high percent, you're more certain to lose your stock. It, I'm not it's sure probably, what's worse. It's probably <laughs> just like a more worthwhile EV to go for at higher percent. Just yeah, because, like, like you might die anyway. Yeah, exactly. Oof. On any given matchup. P-Side with the hardest head shake, by the way, going yeah, into he, this game three. He, he's having fun. I know, he doesn't look too shy. Game three Yoshis. I... Don't know what to think about this pick. Hey, keep Falco near the ledge, man. <laughs> I, I suppose. I would like to also maybe see FOD. I've been pointing this out. FOD messes up uh, Falco's uh, lasers. The side platforms do sometimes. Yeah. So definitely. I think I think for Sheik that could you know probably be uh, ouch used oh, to her sweet. benefit. But oh. um, wow, decides to go with the slightly <laughs> smaller stage keep Falco closer to the edge, but I don't know. We'll see how this works out. 404 has really been cleaning it up a lot the last game and so far this game. He's not getting shield grab nearly as much. Um, much more willing to also like use the top platform as a, an approach mix-up as well, I've noticed. Yeah, I, I think before PSI had it, was a little you know, more honed in on, on how 404 would come in and was kind of able to set up shield grabs, essentially. Um, but now 404 is being way more careful, mixing it up more, making it a lot harder. I'm half expecting like a dash attack to cover those tech aways. But uh he's not just like not going for them. Like maybe he just thinks he's slightly too late. It could be. At this percent you would think that's kinda you know what you want to do. Ooh. But I think tried there, it there, but, but the forward air came out. Now he's shaking his head side to side. Who finally catches the uh on years. invincibility. Yeah. We'll see. It's like not another question. Yeah, very doable uh, to come back from this. These guys doing a great job of, of taking lasers. They really haven't the like, gotten them in too much trouble yet. The, the lasers haven't been much of the issue. I think it's, yeah. it's come down very much to punish game, and I think Four for Cray has been giving himself like more more potential openings and then like, punishing harder uh, with like some new like new creative like approach options like he, he wasn't exactly doing that at the end of game one but now he's being a little bit more careful with it um, he's giving himself like a little bit more uh, room to play with so yeah yeah earlier in this stock Pisai had a tech chase going and opted for a run of four. Oh, it didn't quite work uh, opted to go for an up smash read I don't love to see that when Falco Damn. is at like 80 or 90 percent because at that point you actually have a hard play on tech in and tech away with dash attack that can lead to a kill. Um, whereas at low percent up smash maybe makes more sense because all you're going to get otherwise, you know, maybe is a grab. That space next to uh, the side platform on Yoshi is just like a no fly zone for like any character because like they will just like slide off bear sometimes, like slide off shine bear sometimes, just to hit you. Um, yeah. And it's like quicker than like whatever the heck you can do. So unless you're a Marv, <laughs> just that's basic maybe. But Psy covered three out of four options with that up smash, but four or four threads the needle. Looking pretty bleak for Psy, and yeah, that's gonna yeah. do it. But not a bad showing. Definitely not um, a bad showing. I, you know, I think he uh, showed its its.